Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So there have been some developments in the Breonna Taylor case, and I just want to take some time to share those developments with you all and provide my feedback and my thoughts about those developments. So before I get into the developments, I just want to provide a brief summary of what the Breonna Taylor case is all about for those of you who are unfamiliar with the case. Breonna Taylor was shot and killed during a police raid of her home in Louisville, Kentucky. The police claimed that she was a part of some drug operation. They got a search warrant. They raided her home. And during this raid, they did not announce themselves according to several witnesses. They did not knock on the door according to several witnesses. And they were in plain clothing. So they did not have their police uniforms on during this raid. And this raid took place around midnight. And Breonna Taylor's boyfriend was in the home at the time of this particular raid. And he did what any normal man would do in the under the circumstances, and that's to defend his home. So he defended his home. He fired upon these police officers and he did not know that they were police at the time. So he fired upon them. The police returned fire and they ended up shooting and killing Breonna Taylor. Breonna Taylor was unarmed at the time. Um, she was shot multiple times and she died on the scene. And the police claimed that this was again about drugs, but after they conducted this raid, they did not find any drugs on the premises. And so people have been outraged about this situation. They have been demanding justice for Breonna Taylor, not only in Louisville, Kentucky, where this incident have occurred, but they have been protesting around the country demanding justice for their sister. Um, no charges have been brought against the officers who were responsible for killing this sister. Um, there was a grand jury investigation and you had the prosecutor, Daniel Cameron, basically shape that investigation in such a way that the grand jury didn't even have the option to indict these officers for killing Breonna Taylor. So you had these officers walking around free, no charges against them, living their best life and all that kind of stuff. So there has uh, been a development in the case. Uh, two detectives have been fired uh, as a result of what happened in this case. And what I wanna do is read some excerpts from this article from The Root, and then I will provide my commentary. So this article talks about how Detective Miles Cosgrove and um, Joshua um, Janes have been fired from the uh, police department. It says that the New York Times reports that Cosgrove and Janes both received notices of termination from the Louisville Metropolitan Police Department on Tuesday. It says Cosgrove fired the fatal shot that killed Breonna Taylor, according to an FBI ballistics report. And it goes on to say that uh, Janes, who did not actually participate in the raid, is the one who obtained the search warrant. And basically, this article talks about how uh, Janes basically put false information in this affidavit. He claimed that he talked directly to a postal uh, inspector. He claims that the inspector informed him that uh, Breonna Taylor's ex-boyfriend was receiving packages at Breonna Taylor's home. Uh, you know, and he used that information to basically indicate that Breonna Taylor was a part of this drug operation. But apparently, Officer Janes did not even speak to a postal inspector. Instead, he got this information from uh, a police sergeant, and that police sergeant got the information from another police officer. So here you have a situation where a warrant was issued based on a lie. And because of that lie, this sister is dead now. If they did not have that warrant, Bri uh, Breonna Taylor would still be alive today. So 
this is a positive development, those officers losing their job, but it doesn't make up for the loss of Breonna Taylor's life. This young sister lost her life in the prime of her life. You know, her loved ones will never be able to see her again. They will never be able to talk to her again or hug her again. They're, they will continue to suffer, you know, the loss of a loved one, the, you know, the, the grief of losing someone that you love dearly. Um, but these officers are still alive. You know, they're still free, even though they have lost their job. So, again, I think that this is a step in the right direction, but it is not justice by any stretch of the imagination. And I hope that the Biden administration uh, conducts a thorough investigation of the Breonna Taylor case and determine whether or not criminal charges can be um, filed against these officers for killing this sister. Um, and, you know, to determine whether or not there was a violation of this sister's civil rights. Uh, so those are my thoughts. Tell me what you think about the situation. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, share the video. Hit that notification bell so that you'll know when I post new content on here. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Uh, happy Kwanzaa. Happy New Year. And thank you for watching. Peace.